today I'm reviewing the Ample End Ceramide Shot Cream. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time sponsor ads or videos, so if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com, check my Patreon community, or click on the link below. So I've been meaning to review something from this brand for quite some time. So finally get a chance to review this one, which is probably one of my favorite products from their line. Got a lot of thoughts on it. So uh, let's see. Combination of anti-aging applied with a patent that has been proven to be effective in strengthening skin barriers at a scientific rate. What the heck does that mean? A scientific rate. The texture containing the softness of cream cheese melts moistly to form a hard, real moisturizing film. A hypoallergenic test is completed to apply mildly to all skin. And I will say a lot of their products have fragrance in it. And this one does not. And I'm very happy about that because I can use it more often. So uh, first criteria packaging, no issues at all with that. Simple package. Does have the expiration date on the tube, which I love. Um, no denatured alcohol, no fragrance, like I just mentioned. A lot of their products, their peptide ampule, which I like a lot, is just too scented to use it regularly. So um, this one has no real scent. It's manufactured in Korea, so no issues with that. So ease of, ease of use. This one has a unique texture. It's very silicone-y, kind of like they mentioned, the texture containing the softness of cream cheese, which is uh, pretty darn correct. It's very silicone-y, I almost say, um, but it smooths over skin very mm -hmm. easily. It makes the perfect uh, moisturizer you can apply before foundation. It's perfect texture for that because it really helps everything you apply after it uh, grip. Although I typically don't apply my foundation right after my moisturizer. I typically apply my sunscreen. Although most sunscreens apply and layer over this one just fine. No issues. Although there are a few thicker sunscreens I've noticed have a tendency to pill over this. But if you can use a sunscreen that's a liquidy texture, has a little bit of alcohol in it, it really helps work better over this one. That's just, just my um, observation. I'm not crazy about alcohol and things, but... Um, I just found that sunscreens over this one just work better if they have a little bit of alcohol in them because it just smooths over easier. Um, so works wonderfully in my morning routine. This one I do not prefer to use in my evening routine because of the texture, because it does form a film over it. I found if you apply anything else thicker over this, most of it doesn't really get absorbed very easily. So, which makes it perfect for your morning routine because it helps. I mean, you don't really want the ozone air to absorb into your skin at all because it's aging it contains free radicals this really does have a good moisturizing protective film um, okay so let's get to the beneficial ingredients of this one so we've got squalane antioxidant skin identical ingredient we've got niacinamide berry repair brightening anti-acne we've got shea butter emollient antioxidant soothing ingredient we've got arginine skin identical ingredient amino acid We've got ceramide three, and I do have a little bit of an issue with this being called a ceramide cream because the ceramides in here, they're not very high up on the ingredient list. Um, the other two ceramides are the very last two ingredients, and knowing what I know about ceramides, does the hydration you get from this cream come from the ceramides? Probably not. It probably comes from everything else, but anyway. We've got hydrogenated lecithin, emollient. We've got xyloglucoside, which is a humectant. Um, there's an ingredient trio called uh, Aquil, Aquaxel, which is a trio of three different ingredients that uh, really have some great water binding properties. It's a great moisturizer. It moisturizes and harmonizes the skin's hydrous flow, is what they say. Um, so we've got that xyloglucoside, and then we've also got anhydroxyletol, which is the second part of the Aquil, Aquaxel complex. And then we've got xylitol, which is a third ingredient. So I've got all three in this trio, which is supposed to be amazing for hydrating skin. And yeah, after using this one for quite some time, I really think that Aquaxel, I don't know how to pronounce it. Aquaxel, Aquaxel, Aquaxel is great. So, okay. Then we've got macadamia nut oil, emollient rich in fatty acids. Uh, we've got that adenosine, cell communicating ingredient, rapeseed sterols, uh, which is a great emollient. We've got cholesterol, skin identical ingredient and emollient. We've got sodium hyaluronate, humectant. It's in everything. Literally, it's been in everything I've reviewed for like the last month. Uh, Alantlin, skin soothing ingredient. Then we've got a fruit, an antioxidant fruit called Forsythia suspensa fruit extract. 
And then finally, at the end, we've got Ceramides 1 and 2. So the Ceramides in here, probably not the star of the show, but it's a great title for a product, I guess. Okay, animal testing. Uh, from what I could find online, there's not a lot of info. It looks like they're not cruelty-free, so I'd rather be err on the side of caution with that. But from what I can tell, they're not cruelty-free. Performance. This one is really wonderful. It's got kind of a wonderful, thick, balmy texture to it. Works nicely over serums as well as under most sunscreens and most makeup. Leaves skin feeling soft and hydrated without feeling greasy. It's slightly mattifying. Um, it does contain a few acneogenic ingredients. We've got squalane, acetyl alcohol, sterile alcohol, and something called pentaethyl tetrasterate, I think. So, four acneogenic ingredients. And that combined with the texture and the sodium hyaluronic makes me say if you have very acne prone skin, be very cautious with this one. Just some of those textures can, especially when they form a film, can sometimes not allow skin to breathe much, which sometimes can be a good thing, but can be issues for acne prone skin. Um, the price, so if you don't get this on sale, it's expensive. It retails for $30 if you don't get it on sale. Uh, the full size 1.69 ounces, 50 milliliters. Um, if you can get on sale, usually it's like 10, 12 bucks, which is a good deal. But 30 bucks for it, eh, I don't think I'd pay that. But if you get it on sale, it's a good deal. So um, you'll get to the it factor. Um, I like this moisturizer. The ceramides definitely aren't the star of this show. It has a kind of a unique texture, which really works well under makeup. Um, I don't like it in my evening routine. Typically, I like things in my evening routine because I can just layer and layer and layer and layer and go crazy like I love to do. Uh, but this one just doesn't work that way. But it's great for your morning routine and under makeup and sunscreen. So really like it. Love that it's fragrance-free. Wish it were cruelty-free. But overall, I like it. It's a good product. Um, with a 10 being a perfect score, I gave this one a 7. It has a lot to like about it. Maybe they should rename it to something else, but it's probably not going to be as catchy as ceramide shot cream because everyone knows what a ceramide is, right? And nobody knows what... If it was a cholesterol shot cream, would people buy it? I don't think so. Maybe they would, but macadamia nut shot cream. I, anyway... Anyway, those are my thoughts on today's video product. Uh, interested in hearing from you guys if you had a chance to check it out yet or not. And if you have what your thoughts are, so definitely leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.